our society is in danger. I mean, we're looking at a future being driven by the optimization of your attention through an algorithm. All your behavior is being controlled by technology. You pick up your phone, you don't know why you're picking up your phone. You scroll through the app, you don't know why you're scrolling through the app. And that problem for us as a society is it's making us less resilient. It's pulling us away from what's most important in our lives. Resilience Rendezvous is a camp for adults. I mean, it's a good time. It's about bringing community together, but building each other up through an experience. We bring subject matter experts to bear. We put them through a series of different events and evolutions to make them more resilient, walking away with the tools, the expertise, the advice, and the ability to implement in their own lives. It's my war cry. There we go. On you, boys. For this particular Resilience Rendezvous, it was really important for us to combine the difficulty and sort of the struggle, or for lack of a better term, the suck, and softened with a really beautiful place to stay, a really nice place to lay your head, and really incredible food. It's really been a holistic experience, I think, for the participants. I've learned a ton myself. My guess is, and my feeling moving forward about Resilience Rendezvous is, each one is gonna have a little bit of a different personality. We're gonna pull from our network of really amazing teachers, leaders, and trainers, and we're gonna combine them and put them together to really curate these amazing experiences for you. Right, now circle. Hey! Resilience Rendezvous is broken up into different evolutions. One of the evolutions is using special operations preparation tactics, breaking down, shaping, and building up the student. We want to expose them to different environments and give them the opportunity to build their own resilience by walking them through the process of building the right narratives, the right remote controls inside of themselves to control the chaos. One of the things we decided to do at Resilience Rendezvous is bring an evolution around food. One, breaking bread together is a good way to build a relationship, but it's also a means to develop technical understanding of how to prepare food, which is gonna to add to your resilience long-term, especially with your family. So we hired a local chef, we brought them in, and they teach food preparation, we break bread, and we build relationships. Remember, social networks is one of the variables and attributes that make you most resilient. We also brought in subject matter experts from professional industries, like Brian Peters, a professional football player who is now teaching cold and heat exposure, breathing techniques and tactics that are gonna optimize your health and wellness. He's the one who coined the term of, hey, have control by controlling the remote control in yourself to be able to get through difficult circumstance. We also focus on technical skill sets as well. Everything from survival and bushcraft and first aid to tactical skill sets because learning new things, exposing yourself to things that you're not necessarily comfortable with is going to improve your overall resilience. Every single resilience rendezvous based on the season is going to bring in different experts who are doing it for real. Come out, join us, challenge yourself and become more resilient at Resilience Rendezvous.